Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3. Different scents or smells affect people's mood, work performance and behaviour in a variety of ways. But it isn't because they affect us like a drug, rather they affect us through our past experiences associated with them. Today we start a new series with Glade where we'll be exploring the impact scents have on us. Our first guest in the series is clinical psychologist Tembeli Dube, who's going to shed light on the connection between scents and emotions. Welcome to The Loft. Good day. <laughs> Lovely to have you with it's us. It's good to be here. Thank mm. you. So how do our sensory, what is the relationship between our sensory world and our emotions? And you know what you find is that smell is so intricately linked to our emotions because smell is actually mediated by part of our brains, which is called the limbic system. Yes. Now the limbic system is are really, really the primitive part of our brain that really is involved in motion, the expression of emotion, it's involved in learning. It's also involved in um, kind of getting a sense of um, what you've done and association between the experiences that you've had. Wow. So that's what the limbic system really, that's what the limbic system is about. And because of that, what you find is a lot of the times those, those smells that we actually take on those odors are linked or associated with certain memories and that's why we find that there's this strong link between the smells that we have and um, and, and past experiences. Right and, and when these links happen and our brain register, register, registers it are we conscious of it? Is it cognitive? I mean how, are we understanding that that's what's happening or do we just find ourselves in this feeling or in this emotion? Because smell is mediated by the limbic system, which is more of a primitive uh, so um, um, mammalian brain, yeah. they used to call it. Before it's even, it even gets to the cortex, which will then actually really translate so that we recognize what the scent is. Right. We have already felt what that emotion is, and then only later do you recognize, oh, this is this smell, and this smell is associated with this, that, and the next. So you may not necessarily immediately make the links, but because you feel it just before you actually recognize. Yes, yes. So please tell us about the concept of mood mapping. All right, so mood mapping, firstly, is a, it's a book by Dr. Liz Ryan, which really talks about moods, um, preferences of moods, but also there's a technique by uh, an individual called Stephen Warrenberg, and it's, it's an instrument, it's a self-report self instrument that looks at um, the links between mood and certain aromas. And so this is always used to get a sense of the impact on scents on individuals. Wow. And how can um, scent affect our behavior ultimately? So scent, and I guess part of that question is always, is scent, can scent actually make us do, is it negative or positive? Yes. And it's neither negative nor positive because scent is in and of itself really means little. It's really about the experiences that are, that are associated with that particular scent. So I'm sure a lot of people can relate to the experience of in childhood, there are certain smells that you remember or certain things that you used to do that when you find yourself at the beach, a whole, you kind of get transported back there because of a particular smell. Oh. So whenever you come across that a particular smell, you then find yourself wafting back to those particular experiences. Wow. So it's not just the smell, it's what the smell brings up for you. So it's very, very, it's, it's subjective, it's highly personal, it differs from individual to individual, even based on different cultures, certain smells will, will take on different meanings. So can scent potentially affect our behavior in a positive way so that we can p possibly surround ourselves more with that type of scent because it affects us positively? Well, it depends again on the associations that one has with that particular scent. So if that scent um, is associated with a positive environment, so you find that um, if you've grown up in an environment, in a particular warm, loving environment, and there was a particular smell that was, that was um, associated with uh. that environment, that smell would then, uh, would then transport you there. And uh. obviously more pleasant smells, but again, what, what a particular smell that may, that may for me be pleasant or positive in inverted commas may not necessarily be the same for you because of the underlying association between the smell 
and the context. Wow, that is so interesting. Cool. So we're going to do this demonstration and this test, right? And um, it's called the blindfold test. I'm going to be blindfolded and you're going to spray some scents in the air and I'm going to let you know what... Mm. Yeah, okay. I'll just close my eyes actually because okay. I don't have a blindfold. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Okay. And I'll just tell you what I, I'm associating that smell with. All right, so you, you must close your eyes. I'm eyes are closed. <laughs> All right, so this is... I won't say it first, but I'm just going to let you smell it and you can let me know what comes into your mind. As you smell that scent, what comes through for you? I can't smell anything. <laughs> can you smell it now? Maybe move closer? Oh, mm. sorry. Yes, apple. Apple. So this is Ocean Escape, but where uh -huh. does apple take you? Apple makes me think of home, definitely. Home and school. <laughs> home and school. Yeah. And it was like the link between home and school. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> home and school. And how, does, and how did you feel in those particular moments? I guess it was the one thing that was always familiar about both environments. Mm. Something I did at school and it was something that I did at home. And now that I'm a mom, I pack apples at home for my kids when they go to school. Ah, okay. <laughs> and it's a positive <laughs> association, I okay. guess. Let's yeah. do the next one. Okay. <laughs> cool. Now I know what, what direction to smell. Okay. Hmm. Mm. This reminds me of like a freshly washed carpet or linen mm. and uh, a breezy sunny day with like open windows and um, just relaxation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This one. What was this? I can't see the name on this one, but I think it's quite closely linked to morning would it be morning freshness? Okay. But okay. let's try freshness, another one. I guess that's the common yes. denominator. All right. And then let's try. You can just close your eyes. Yeah. Hmm. I think this is very energizing. It reminds me of just getting up and being active and. Yeah, it's energizing. Energizing. Yeah. And that is clean linen. Clean linen. Clean okay, li okay. Yes. I guess my linen energizes me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So let's do But thank you so much. That was lots of fun. Thank you for all your insights. <laughs> if you want a personal Glade experience, check out the Afternoon Express website for details of the activations happening in Cape Town and Johannesburg. For those watching, two people have the chance of winning a Sorbet Feelin' Fab bath box, a full body 60 minute massage from Armani Spas and a Glade product hamper. All you have, all to the value of 1,330 Rand. All you need to do is SMS the keyword Glade and your name and city to 33728. SMSs cost 150. T's and C's apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za by doing this you're automatically entered into the grand prize draw where you can win a bed makeover and consultation a sky wings paragliding session and a glade gift hamper all to the value of 21,800 rand you don't want to miss out on this we'll be right back